Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make moving platforms in Unity. Let's get right into it. So this tutorial will show you how to make a moving platform move between two points. And there'll be another tutorial. There'll be an eye up in the corner and a link in the description below, which will show you how you can make your player character stay on the moving platform when the moving platform is moving. So let's get started. So in the hierarchy, right click and go to create empty. And we're going to name this object Platform Parent. Be sure to spell it correctly. Then we're going to set the X, the Y and the Z to all be zero. And then we can right click and go to 3D object and then go to cube. And we'll call this point A. And we're going to set the X to be minus 20. Then duplicate it by doing control C, then control V or making another cube. And we're going to rename it to be point B, and we'll set the X to be 20. So now we've got two points where the platform can move between, and they don't need to have a mesh renderer. However, I'm going to do it as it makes it easy to visualize and debug the moving platform. Now, right click on your platform parent and go to 3D object and create another cube. We'll call this moving platform, and set the X to be maybe 20. Now we'll do 10 and also set the Z to be 10. So now we've got a platform to move between two points. In the assets folder, right click, go to create and then go to C sharp script. And we're going to call it moving platform. Once your script has been made, open it up in Visual Studio. Firstly, we're going to do a bunch of serialized fields. So these are going to be private variables that we can change in the inspector. So we're going to do serialized field game object point A and game object point B. So these are going to be the two points that our moving platform will move between. The speed is going to be how quickly does the moving platform move and that's going to be a float. And the delay is going to be how long will our moving platform stay still when it's reached a point it's moving to. So our moving platform will move to a point, wait a second, then move to the next point, then wait a second, and so on. It gives the player a chance to get on the moving platform. And then this game object is going to be the moving platform itself. Then we're going to do private vector free target position. This is not going to be a serialized or public variable, and it's just going to store the current position that, that our moving platform wants to move towards. Then in our start function, we're going to do Platform.transform.position equals point A dot transform dot position. So when we start the game, we're going to put our moving platform onto point A. You can make it point B if you want to, but mine's going to be on point A when we start the game. And then we're going to do target position equals point B dot transform dot position. So when we start the game, we're going to be on point A and we're going to want to start moving towards point B. And then we're going to do start coroutine move platform. Now this move platform coroutine hasn't been defined yet, but we will define that in a second. You can also remove the update function because we won't be needing it. So firstly, we're going to do our numerator move platform, and this is going to be creating a coroutine. And coroutines are special methods in Unity that can pause execution and return control to Unity, but continue executing in the next time frame. Then we're going to do while and true. And this creates an infinite loop, which means that our moving platform is always going to be executing its movement logic. Then we're going to do this code. So we do while target position minus platform.transform.position.square magnitude is greater than 0.01. Platform.transform.position equals vector3.move towards platform.transform.position target position speed times time dot delta time and yield return null. So this in a while loop checks if the platform is not yet at the target position. And if we're not at the target position, that means you want to be moving towards it. And this line here, which I split into two to make it a bit more readable, moves the platform towards the target position by a small step determined by speed times time dot delta time. And time dot delta time ensures the movement is smooth and frame rate independent. And then yield return null, pauses the coroutine until the next frame, making the movement smooth. Then we're going to do, Target position equals target position double equals point A dot transform dot position question mark point B dot transform dot position colon point A dot transform dot position. This is a mouthful. Let's break it down. This is just a ternary operator and all it's going to do is after we reach our target position, we're going to update it to be the other point that we're not. 
And we're using the ternary operator, which is a really easy way to condense simple if statements into one line of code. So if we're at point A, we want to go to point B, and if we're at point B, we want to then go to point A. And once we've decided what point we want to go to, we then do yield return new wait for seconds delay. So basically, once we've decided what point we want to next go to, we're going to wait one second, or whatever our delay is. And this code here will never get executed until we've exited this while loop, which means we've reached our destination. And since we're in the while true loop, this is going to go on forever. So now we can save our work and go back into Unity. And in Unity, we're going to go to our platform parent and we're going to drag and drop our moving platform script onto the parent. And for point A, we drag and drop point A. For point B, we drag and drop point B. We'll keep the speed and the delay the same, but for platform, we drag and drop the moving platform. Then we can save our work and hit play. And if you go to the scene view, we can see the moving platform move between the two points with a second delay when it hits the point. So thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Also be sure to click on the screen if you want to know how to keep your player on that moving platform as it moves. Thanks for watching.